to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's tarot reading is going to be a yes or no pick a card, but it's a very special reading because this is the thinning of the veil reading. So for everyone, I am kind of showing you the protection that's going into this reading. If you are not interested, have a different belief system, you know, more respect to everyone's belief system. This is just my personal belief system. So if you aren't interested, go ahead and skip into your video, your pile selection. For those of you who are, I just want you to know that with this being the thinning of the veil reading, it's being recorded on Halloween Eve at the beginning of the thinning of the veil. Now, I just want it to be available for all of you on Halloween. So this will protect us through the reading. You know, that way we can contact ancestors, we can contact, you know, those who have passed on and get their advice. So yes, in, invite your loved ones and, uh, and I will try to deliver whatever messages there are. Now, this intention candle is intentioned to protect us through the reading. Unfortunately, it's a little bit tall, so I can't keep it in view. I'll have to put it off screen. But take just a moment and connect to the flame. Set your intention that you are protected by angels spirit guides, ancestors, the divine. Nothing can harm you. All right. With the intention for protection set into the candle, I'm gonna move it off screen. Now, since this is a thinning of the veil reading, I want to ask for permission to speak with all of you. So I'm gonna let you witness my little mini tarot deck. So this is, this is such a cute little deck. This is half upside down, but you know, I don't read in reverse, so they'll all be read upright. Now, this little mini tarot deck, we're going to ask the angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to please speak to us through the cards. May we speak to you for the thinning of the veil. May we ask our questions. Are you willing to work with us? Ooh, okay. We got the star. That is a solid yes. Okay. Now, is there anything specific you want to target? Oh, good golly. That was a lot of cards. Okay. We've got the page of cups. We've got the hanging man. We've got the sun. This looks like it's going to be a brilliant reading. The Ten of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the King of Wands, and the King of Swords. Okay, so I'm not going to go into what all of those cards are, but those are all fantastic things for us to talk about on this Thinning of the Veil reading. So thank you to the Angel Spirit Guides and Ancestors. Thank you to everyone communicating through my gatekeeper. You know, this is going to be a wonderful tarot reading that you can ask your very specific questions on, and hopefully you're going to get your very specific answers. Now, please, everyone remember that we are protected with our protection candle. We also have the protection uh, obsidian Merkaba going on. So just remember you're protected. Some of these, some of the parts of these readings are going to seem very personal. 
like they're super personal readings. Remember, they are general. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Hopefully it's gonna be fantastic. All right, now let's choose the signifiers for this particular Halloween reading. All right, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Please bring us the cards you would like to have involved in this reading. What will resonate? All right, so we start with Tiger's Eye. Group two is Rose Quartz. Ooh, group three is Appetite. Look at that, the, the full moon's going on there. Group four is Clear Quartz. Group five is Unikite. And group six is Rhodochrosite. All right, these look like they're going to be wonderful readings. Thank you so much to the Angels Ancestors Universe for making these readings possible. I want you to know that I'm very grateful for you choosing me as your tarot reader today. Please uh, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button, you know, where, whenever you do it. Just uh, please, that helps my channel, so thank you so much. All right, so with the cards drawn, we are gonna go directly into pile selection. So we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, reading number five, and reading number six. For those of you that already have an intuitive selection method chosen, or for those of you that watched the pile selection and chose there, please go ahead and jump to your reading. For anyone who would like a little bit of assistance honing in with your intuition, I'll lead a short breathing exercise. Let's begin by closing our eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking your question. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, one of the crystals or a number between one and six may just pop into your mind. If that happens, select that reading. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, when you're ready, open your eyes and select the reading that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right, for reminders, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, reading number five, and reading number six. All right, so choose what resonates with you the most. If, you are, if you're drawn to more than one pile, that is okay. You can watch one and then the other. You can ask separate questions. You can watch all six piles with a different question for each one. You know, whatever resonates with you is how I want you to be able to use this video. So thank you for being with me for the thinning of the veil reading. I really hope that things resonate with all of you. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. I'll see you there.
Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the tiger's eye. Your first message of the reading is to overcome your fears. So yeah, whatever those fears are, you really need to overcome them. Now let's start by taking a look at your yes or your no. With this being a Halloween reading, I am going to open the floor with the Oracle cards to the thinning of the veil. So we'll see whatever, you know, whatever ancestors, spirit guides, angels, you know, beings, spirit, whatever would like to communicate with the thinning of the veil for the best benefit of reading number one. But first we will start with a yes or no. So ask your question, hold your question in your mind. Now, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, for reading number one, please answer yes or no clearly to their questions. All right, you start with the Empress. And strength, I like it. Three of coins, okay. Page of coins, very nice. And Queen of coins, okay. This is a brilliant yes. Lots of you asking about money, lots of you asking about job opportunities. Some of you asking about motherhood. Um, you're, you're definitely strong enough for whatever you asked Harrow about. This is foundational with the Empress. Doesn't have to be motherhood, but it is the motherhood card. So some of you are definitely asking about motherhood. Um, and the answer is yes. So, you know, I'm not a doctor, please. I am an intuitive tarot reader. Just take this as it resonates. Um, see whatever professional you need to see but it does look like some of you are stepping into motherhood. Now, this strength card is for every single one of you. You guys are all strong enough for whatever you're asking Tarot about. Lots of you asking about being recognized for your performance, recognized at your job, recognized in a, in a career. This is, doesn't look necessarily like a new beginning. It looks like opportunities through where you are right now. You've got the three of coins being recognized for your hard work. You've got the page of coins, a new opportunity could represent you as a young person or new to your career, but, uh, but there's opportunities. And then the queen of coins is where you end up. And the queen of coins is generosity. She wants for nothing and she shares what she has. She has plenty to share, so she does. So this looks like a beautiful yes to whatever you ask Tarot. Now I am going to start with the angel deck, but I am going to open the floor to at to to any spirits that would like to communicate for the best benefit of group number one through the thinning of the veil. Please, you may speak through the cards to anyone watching from group number one. All right, so we've got Archangel Raphael and Archangel Zadkiel. I'm going to put Archangel Zadkiel up here. I know you won't be able to see him very much, but uh, but that way there's there's room. Archangel Zadkiel, well, you know what? We'll put him with Archangel Raphael. All right, so Archangel Raphael and Archangel Zadkiel. Um, you've got healing with Archangel Raphael. You've got Archangel Zadkiel coming out talking about forgiveness. Um, Archangel Zadkiel is also about the purple flame. Archangel Raphael is also about compassion and loving energy. So just take whatever re resonates, but there's definite Archangel protection and uh, communication coming through. Now I am going to, let's see what the spirit guides would like to add. So spirit guides for the best benefit of group number one. Express your feelings. Okay. So these messages may not necessarily go with the cards. Normally, I will pair them up with the cards and we're talking about the cards. But this is a thinning of the veil reading. So your cards were very specific about, you know, money, opportunities, careers, whatnot. Now your spirit guides are telling you, hey, you need to express your feelings. You know, this definitely does go with the motherhood card a little bit. But uh, but really, all of you need to express your feelings. Now, I'd like to see what Queen of the Moon has to add 
for this thinning of the veil reading. Resistance. All right, you are strong enough. It is kind of going with your reading still because you got strength here and you got resistance here. You're strong enough for whatever you asked Tarot about. You are strong enough for whatever's going on in your life right now. Just know that you are, like, you have strength within you. And uh, you have the resistance to get to whatever, to overcome whatever fear is in front of you and to get to whatever goal you're reaching for. Now, what does Monology add? Ooh, a fiery climax approaches. All right, so you are being recognized for your work, definitely. And something fiery is headed towards you. Um, it's full moon in Aries, so there's some completion somewhere. You know, a fiery climax is, is coming. And, uh, yeah, it should be interesting because you, you come out smelling like a rose. So, you know, you're just, you know, full of opportunities and whatnot. Now, what out of the spellcasting oracle for the best benefit of group number one? Transformation. Okay. Yeah, no, it'll work with your page of coins as well because page of coins is... <sighs> It is opportunities. It's you getting the chance to step into opportunities. It's the beginning of opportunities. And this is a transformation for you. You guys are transforming. I feel like there's something else out of this uh, reconciliation. Okay. So for some of you, this queen of coins doesn't represent you. It represents someone else and you need to reconcile. You know, this is someone who's loving and generous with you. There may be some sort of discord um, just take whatever resonates. For a lot of you, this Queen of Coins absolutely represents you. So, but some of you, there's a reconciliation um, somewhere that needs to happen. It could even be a reconciliation with your worthiness. Now, let's see what Beyond Lumeria adds. Um, it's a beautiful starseed deck, and I, I really love this deck. So we'll see what is for the best benefit from Beyond Lumeria. Heart chakra. Okay, yeah, and you've got healing. You've got the heart chakra coming out. Um, just, you know, you can look up YouTube things about balancing your heart chakra. Let love flow in and out of you. This is, you know, this is saying love will guide you. Now, let's see what the tiny star seed deck has to add. All right, so out of the tiny star seed deck... one. Let's see what your first one is. Your first one is starseed. Raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant loving light. All right, so that's confirmation for many of you that you're starseeds. It's telling you that you, oh, you can raise the vibration of the planet. Next, we have channel. You are, ch you are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. Okay, and then what? Okay, and then you've got blue star. Follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. That may help with your reconciliation. Just follow your inner compass. Let, let you know, love flow through you. Now, I just got the feeling like I want to pull a couple cards from this little gilded tarot deck. Because normally this would be the end of the reading. But um, just anything specific for the thinning of the veil that would like to come through. For anyone watching reading number one. So loved ones wanting to speak. Angels needing one more card. Okay, so we pulled two cards. Let's see what we're looking at. All right, you start with the Knight of Swords. Ooh, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so the message from loved ones... The message from just from whoever is speaking to you, Knight of Swords, your testing is going to be short lived. Ace of Pentacles, you do have a brand new financial beginning, a brand new resource beginning. You know, this you are taken care of. There is a new beginning for you. So just take the little tarot cards as they resonate for whoever they're for. They're just a little added bonus. Um, somebody just wants you to know that your testing is going to be short-lived. So whatever it is you're afraid of, whatever it is you're being tested by, know that it's going to be over quickly. You're going to be recognized. You have the strength for this. You've got a resistance in you that's amazing. 
you know, you've got the Knight of Swords saying it's going to be over quickly and that a fiery climax approaches. You've got a new beginning. You know, I didn't see a new beginning here. And when I said I didn't see a new beginning here, the angels were like, oh, but there is one. So it's a new fi financial beginning uh, for some of you and materials, resources, could be a new job. Um, you just need to follow your inner compass and really let heart, let your heart chakra connect and let love flow in and out and you're gonna you're gonna step into something beautiful and congratulations to those of you who are asking questions about motherhood and got that yes you know all of you got a yes to whatever you asked tarot um thank you for being with me for the thinning of the veil reading i hope you got your specific messages that you were looking for there's lots of archangel protection for all of you plus our protection candle so please just be protected, be safe, you know, know that you are guided by masters and teachers from the highest realms. So until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the rose quartz. Your first message of the reading is to open up your heart. So just open your heart, let love flow in. It will be worth it. Now let's take a look at your yes or your no. This reading will be a little bit different than the normal yes or no, because we will get the yes or no, but the additional messages may not be clarification for it because we're gonna open the forum to the thinning of the veil. All right, so starting with the yes or no, hold your question in your mind. Now, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer yes or no clearly for group number two. All right, you start with the page of coins, and then the ten of cups, the queen of coins, I love it, faith, all right, some of you getting married, that's beautiful. And the two of cups, and it's a soulmate relationship. Okay, this is a beautiful yes, absolute solid yes to whatever you asked, Arrow. Now let's talk about what the cards mean, and then we'll go. Then we'll move on. We've got the page of coins coming out, so this can represent you as a young person coming into your opportunities. Um, it it does represent opportunities of a financial career material nature just materializing in front of you. The Ten of Cups talks about a happy home life. It can talk about a new house, a new home move. All of that is tied up in the Ten of Cups and it's a beautiful yes. Now the Queen of Coins talks about you in a position of having enough to share and generosity. So just know you're gonna have plenty share what you have. Now the faith card is um, some of you going back to school. So this is the answer for your college questions. Your, um, you know, should I, should I try to get into this school? Absolutely, yes. The faith card is about education. It's also about marriage. So those of you asking, am I gonna marry this person? Am I gonna marry that person? It does look like the answer is yes. Next, we've got the Two of Cups coming out. So for those of you that are already in a soulmate relationship, this is the deepening of a soulmate relationship. But for many of you, this is you finding your soulmate. So yes, you're gonna find your soulmate. Yes, the person you're asking about, you know, looks like they are your soulmate. It looks like a yes to whatever you asked, Tarot, and it is absolutely beautiful. Now, let's open the floor to whatever best benefit messages would like to come through the thinning of the veil. So starting with the angels, angels, what is there for you to add for group number two? All right, you're told to be discerning, so follow that gut. You, This looks like a beautiful yes to whatever you ask, Tarot, but your angels are still telling you, be discerning, follow your gut. You know, if you've got a gut feeling about something, it's going to be right. So just take what resonates now from the spirit guides, please. Set your intentions. All right. So for those of you that are hoping to manifest this new home move, hoping to manifest your soulmate, set those intentions on exactly what you want because you are manifesting what you want. Now, let's see what Moonology has to add to your reading. 
So from Moonology. All right, you're told take time to breathe out. So some of you need to take some time and meditate. Some of you just need to, to give the universe some time to let these blessings come in. And one more Moonology. All right, your dreams need a practical plan. So you're gonna step into this Queen of Coins, absolutely. But those dreams need a practical plan. So start taking the actions that you need to take to step into this beautiful Queen of Coins. Now, let's look at Queen of the Moon and see what Queen of the Moon has to add for group number two. All right, so you got some fear. The thing about this fear is you see the person inside her is afraid, but she is controlling every single thing in this picture to be afraid of. So just know that you can control your fears. Whatever it is you're afraid of, if you're afraid of marriage, if you're afraid of going back to school, if you're afraid of this soulmate relationship, if you're afraid you're not worthy of stepping into abundance, whatever it is you're afraid of, you can control it. You are in charge here. Now, you also get wisdom. All right, so wisdom comes out. That's beautiful. You are on the path. You're reaching towards wisdom. You know, this soulmate relationship is right there in your grasp. So just know that it is going to happen for you. You know, I there's no timing cards. Pinnacles are a little bit slow, so it may take a minute getting to you. But that soulmate relationship is on its way for those of you that are looking for it. Blessings coming in with the spell casting cards. So just know that blessings are blessings are abounding for you. That is beautiful. Now let's see what the little star seed deck has to add to round out your reading. So from the star seeds, and you do not have to be a star seed for these to resonate. All right, we'll see what you jumped out of the deck. You got free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. So focus on being a free spirit. Focus on letting yourself love. All right, so we flipped over two. We've got reflection. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. So deal with those fears. See the fears inside you. Deal with them so that you can move on. And then finally, you get signs. The universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities. So you are moving into your blessings. You are moving forward. Now, since it is a thinning of the veil reading, I am gonna get out this little mini gilded tarot deck and we are gonna see if there's anything. Okay, yeah, there's one, there's two. Okay, that's more than enough. That's more than enough. All right, so we'll see what wanted to come through for each of you. You start with the Knight of Swords. Okay, so the Knight of Swords talks about your challenges and tests being short-lived. Next, you get the Nine of Wands. So some of you putting some work in, making some sacrifices you don't need to make. All right, there's the Five of Wands, which talks about fighting, and the Two of Swords, which talks about you being stuck. So all of this is like things that you're going in, in, you're going on right now. And this Knight of Swords is saying, hey, all of this is going to be short-lived. All that you have fear about is going to be short-lived. You're going to step into these beautiful blessings. And finally, you get the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups talks about you having things to celebrate, okay? You're going to have tons of things to celebrate. This is a beautiful yes to whatever you ask Tarot. For the thinning of the veil, you've got some of your, you know, some fighting, some being stuck, some sacrifices that you just don't need to be making, that you are making, but all of that's going to be short-lived with this Knight of Swords. You're going to have things to celebrate. This looks really good. Thank you so much for being with me on Halloween. Thank you for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you to all of the angels, spirit guides, ancestors, everyone who's come through with messages of hope and joy. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the Appetite Crystal. 
your first message of the reading is to get out of your comfort zone. So do something that takes you out of your comfort zone and, you know, see what happens. Now, let's take a look at your yes or your no. This reading will be a little bit different than my normal yes or no's because I'm going to open the floor to the thinning of the veil after we get the yes or no. But, uh, but we'll start with the tarot and get the yes or no. So hold your question in your mind. Now, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer yes or no clearly for group number three. All right, you start with the king of wands, and then the nine of wands, the queen of wands, wow, the sun, beautiful, and the hermit. Okay, this is absolutely a yes to whatever you asked, Harrow. Let's talk about what all the cards mean, and then we'll open the floor to the thinning of the veil. Now, first, we've got the King of Wands, which talks about you stepping into your creative passions and people following you. You know, this is you really stepping into your, well, you, the Queen of Wands is here with you stepping into your authentic self. So this is you really stepping into your passion, into your creativity, into your life. Now, the Nine of Wands is coming out, and that can talk about you making a sacrifice that you don't need to make, or you taking a really strong position that you don't have to. So that's just whatever caution that is. The Sun is beautiful. It's growth. It's the brightest card in the deck. It's an absolute yes. And then you've got the Hermit coming out afterwards, which is you spending alone time, but it's productive alone time. It's where you are really channeling your creative energy and putting it into something. So a lot of you asking about creative projects, um, some of you asking about relationships, you've got a power couple coming out with the King and Queen of Wands and the Sun. So, you know, yes, whatever you ask Tarot, the answer is yes. So take it as it resonates. Now I'm gonna open the floor to whatever communications would like to come through the thinning of the veil. So starting with the angels, whatever's for the best benefit of group number three. Universal heart. All right, so you're told to speak with the universal heart. Tell your angels what you want. Tell your spirit guides what you want. Put it out into the universe because it will come back to you, okay? You've got a beautiful, beautiful tarot reading full of passion and creativity. Take all that passion and creativity and tell the angels what you want. Now, let's see what comes out of the spirit guide deck for you. Ask for guidance. All right, yeah, absolutely ask for guidance. Ask your spirit guides and angels to guide you through these changes. You are really stepping into your authentic self here. So just, you know, ask the spirit guides to, to assist you and to, to help things move forward. Now, from Moonology. All right, you get meditate and contemplate. So you need some meditation, and I would like a second moonology. All right, you're also told to show the world the real you. Some of you may be sacrificing some part of yourself, holding it back like you think the world won't like you the way you are. That's just not true. Show the world who you really are. Take some time, meditate and contemplate on the subject, but really show the world who you really are. That can really go with this sacrifice. You know, you may be sacrificing a part of yourself trying to step into your authentic self. And that's not how that works. You are you, so be authentically you. Show the world who you really are and you're gonna be surprised pleasantly with how wonderful things go. Now, let's see what Queen of the Moon has to add for you. So out of Queen of the Moon, assessing, okay. So you do need to take some time assessing the situation, kind of figuring out where this sacrifice that doesn't need to be happening is happening, figuring out exactly who you are as your authentic self. Now, oh, you also get abundance. You guys are stepping into a wonderful abundance. This is beautiful. The sun is beautiful. It's, I mean, you, there's just so much growth and beauty and this abundance is it's abundance of lots of things it could be financial abundance for many of you 
but it's, you know, abundance of love, abundance of money, abundance of creativity and passion and, you know, whatever it is that you're wanting, it's abundance. Now, you also get dreams. So pay attention to your dreams, your actual literal dreams. They're trying to communicate to you through the, through your dreams, like the angels and spirit guides are. So whatever it is you're dreaming, pay attention. There's, there's dream messages going on here. Now, let's see what Beyond Lumeria has to add for you guys. Ooh, Manifestia. Yep, you are absolutely manifesting this. You're manifesting abundance. You are manifesting with your stepping into this, you know, your authentic self. You being more authentically you. You showing the world who you really are. That's going to manifest beautiful things. You just got to be really clear with yourself and the angels about what you want. And it's going to it's going to come to you. This is this is beautiful. Now, let's see. Oh, you start with abundance, on the abundance. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors to abundance naturally open. That's right. That's why you've got this creativity coming first and then boom, there's the abundance. You know, you do something that's okay. Let's see what else just came out. You got magnificence, of course you did. You are amazing, magnificent, and unique. But most importantly, you are enough. So show the world who you really are because you are enough. And finally, you get blue star. Follow the light of your inner compass, the blue star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. All right, so you have this beautiful yes. You've got lots of wonderful messages. Now I am going to get this little tiny gilded tarot deck out and open the floor to any other tarot messages that would like to come through. So ancestors, spirit guides, angels, with all protection, anything that would like to come through for the best benefit of group number three. Okay, that one fell on the floor, but I'll, I'll get it. Give me just a second. Okay, that's too many. We have to... Reasonable amounts, please. Okay, that's fine. And that one's fine, too. All right, so let me get your cards off the floor because that is where they fell. Oh, you know what? You had three cards hit the floor, so, but they're beautiful. Wow. All right. So let's see what we've got here. We have got the two of swords and the four of swords. Okay. We've also got the magician. Beautiful. The ace of cups and the two of cups. Okay. So your two of swords talks about a stuck feeling. It talks about you know, you not seeing the way out, but you're getting some rest after that with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is saying, hey, get some rest. The Magician is you manifesting. It goes with this Manifestia over here. You are absolutely manifesting the life that you want. It is a beautiful new beginning of, emotional, of an emotional sort with this Ace of Cups. And the Two of Cups comes out talking about a soulmate relationship, a partnership that is just absolutely beautiful. So you're moving out of this two of swords, let things go, release negativity, step into your authentic self, really just be who you are, show the world who you are, do something good for the world, you know, speak to the universal heart, see what the world needs from you, give of yourself freely, and you're going to step into this wonderful abundance. All right. Thank you so much for being with me on Halloween. Thank you for choosing me as your tarot reader for this very special reading. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four, with the clear quartz. Your first message of the reading is to get crystal clear. So make sure those questions are clear. If you get an answer that is not what you expect, really look at the question, make sure it can't be misinterpreted some way. 
All right, now let's hold your question in your mind. This reading will be a little bit different than my normal yes or no's. We will start with the yes or no, but then I'm gonna open the floor to the thinning of the veil for Halloween. So just, um, yeah, hold your question in your mind. We'll do the yes or no first, and then we'll get whatever messages come through the thinning of the veil. Now, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, for group number four, Queen of Coins, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups. Okay, this is clearly a no, but it's a very hopeful no. So some of you were hoping for a no. Some of you were hoping for a yes, and there's a problem with your question, which is why that Get Crystal Clear is coming through. But this Queen of Coins represents you. It's you in a stable place. It's you sharing what you have. It's you being generous. And there is some form of stalemate that you find yourself in. So this is your stability, but you've got this stalemate where you don't see a way out. There's some form of heartbreak represented in the Three of Swords. The Knight of Swords represents all of this going by really quickly. So the Knight of Swords says, hey, your challenges and tests are there, but it's going to go by quickly. And then the Seven of Cups says that there is lots of options for you right now, and you're going to be stepping into even more options. Wait for the one that's right for you, because there's going to be a perfect option out there that's going to be the answer you're looking for. All right, so you got a no to whatever you asked, Tarot. You know, like I said, if you were expecting a yes, make sure your question was clear, but this is a pretty clear no. Now let's open the floor to whatever would like to come through the thinning of the veil for the best benefit of group number four. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, those who have passed on, Please speak to us through the cards for the best benefit of group number four. All right, you're told to trust the flow. So trust that this is going to move you to a great place. It will. You know, the seven of cups is a good energy as long as you wait for the right option. So trust the flow of the universe. You're, you're moving to a really good place. Now, I would like to see what the spirit guides would like to add. inspire others. All right. So you are very capable of inspiring others. This generosity in the queen of coins definitely represents your generous nature, something that you give of yourself freely, whether it's creative, whether it's passionate, whatever it is, you give something of yourself freely. And I mean, it could be a financial thing because it is the queen of coins, but you are told to inspire others with your generosity. So inspire others. Now let's see what moonology has to add. Ooh. Okay. It's time to take action. All right. So it is time to take action. You, it's, I mean, it's time to deal with the swords that are coming out. Now, this, this stalemate. All right. So nothing is going to come of this. Your, these challenges and tests are going to be quick. Nothing's going to come of it. That's beautiful. All right, I want to see Queen of Co Queen of uh, the Moon then, not Queen of Coins. We've already got the Queen of Coins. All right, so Queen of the Moon. That's beautiful. I'm so glad nothing's going to come of the, those challenges and tests. They're going to be over quick, and uh, it's it's not going to be that bad. All right, now Queen of the Moon. You get release. Okay, so some of this is going to help you release things that you need to release to step into your best option here. Um, one more Queen of the Moon. Wisdom. All right. Yeah, no, you are on the right path. You are stepping the right way. You're going to step into your best option here. There are some things you need to release and, you know, heartbreak and feeling stuck is, is part of it. So just take what resonates, but you're going to step into a beautiful situation with the Seven of Cups. Now, I would like to see what the Spellcasting Oracle has to add for the thinning of the veil 
life purpose. Okay, so you are on the path to your life purpose. Like, look at you climbing this path, and then this is the life purpose path. So you, I mean, this is saying you're on the right path for your life purpose. Now, what does Beyond Lemuria have to add for the best benefit of group number four? Realm Bridger. Okay, so some of you are star seeds. You guys can see things that other people really can't. You can see opportunities, but you can also see problems. So just you bridge the realm between, you know, the the hope and the fear and just, you know, know that that love is on your side. All right. Now, let's see what the little star seed deck has to add for you. There's that one. All right, we'll start with this one. It's light. It's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. So it's time to take action. It's time to reveal the light of who you are. It's time to step into this very generous energy, which is just part of you. Now, next you get truth. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. So release what you need to release, get past these challenges and tests because you are stepping into a wonderful life purpose thing here with the seven of cups. What else is there from no limitations? You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. Part of that is gonna be part of your life purpose. So there is much for you to share. There is much you will do. You have a significant life purpose here you are bridging the realm between the light and the darkness you know you're dealing with the darkness and shedding your light so just take what resonates but um, this is beautiful now i've got this little tiny tarot deck it's absolutely beautiful i am going to open the floor anything that would like to come through the veil for the best benefit of group number four please keep the cards to a reasonable level Okay, that's not reasonable. We will keep the Three of Cups, so they're coming through telling you there's things for you to celebrate. There's celebrations coming. Oh, the sun, beautiful. And the Three of Swords again. Okay, so you've got the Three of Swords coming through. Oop, I dropped it. You've got the Three of Swords coming through twice. So just pay attention to that. Um, Pay attention to your health. Take care of yourself. You know, if you feel like you need to see a doctor for any reason, you should go do that. Now, the uh, the sun is beautiful. I mean, this is just beautiful. It's absolute growth. The three of swords is heartbreak. So if you're if you're dwelling in this heartbreak, then you've got to let it go. You've got to release it. Now, anything else out of the little tarot deck for the best benefit of reading number four? The Magician. Okay, yeah, you're absolutely manifesting what you want. You can use your talents to manifest this option right here. This whole reading is saying you've got some stuff you're going through, but when you get to the end of it, it's going to be beautiful and it's not going to be that far to the end. So release, spread your light. It's time to start shedding your light. See your own light. Know who you truly are. Step into this magician card. Know that you are limitless. You bridge the realm between light and darkness and you are a being of a light. All right, that is all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello, 
to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the Unikite. Your first message of the reading is to live in the now. So be present in this moment. Now let's take a look at your yes or your no. Today's reading will be a little bit different since it's a Halloween special. Um, I'm going to open the floor to the thinning of the veil after we get your yes or no. So the oracle cards may or may not go with the tarot cards. They're messages that are needing to come through for people that are watching this pile. All right, so hold your question in your mind. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, please answer clearly yes or no for group number five. All right, you start with strength and the priestess. Very nice. Following that intuition. Six of Swords, so you're moving on from testing. Eight of Swords, okay, you feel stuck. Final Two of Cups. I, I would like another card, please, to determine the yes or no, please. Knight of Coins, okay. All right, so this does look like a yes. It's... Uh, it does look like a yes. There is just some cautions to it. You've got strength coming out, which is you being strong enough for whatever situation you're dealing with, for whatever you're talking about now. You've got the priestess coming out talking about your intuition and that you should follow it. The six of swords talks about you moving on and can even mean travel, but it means you're taking your problems with you so into whatever new situation you're talking about you're bringing those problems with you now what's funny is this says travel and this says stuck so take it as it resonates some of you are moving on and some of you are really stuck you know this is a really stuck energy in the eight of swords it's not being able to move it's not being able to to move forward the two of cups then comes out and that's partnership and a beautiful relationship you know this is you know the soulmate relationship and then when I asked for another card just to make sure it was a yes uh, we got the knight of coins which is opportunities financial opportunities coming in so it's like you guys are going into a new relationship some of you but you're bringing your baggage along with you that is you know one of the messages that's coming through so just take it as it resonates um it is a yes to whatever you asked arrow there are some cautions but but it's a yes so it's a it's a cautious yes now i would like to open the floor to the thinning of the veil and any being of light and love for the best interests of group five communicate using the cards all right the angels say embrace change so yeah there's gonna be changes but you need to embrace them now for moonology let's see what moonology has to add nothing is yet set in stone okay so this doesn't have to happen like it's I mean it's almost a maybe you know nothing is yet set in stone so you have to follow your intuition you know it's it's more positive than negative so it looks like a yes but nothing is set in stone so maybe you let the universe progress a little bit and then ask again in a, in a couple of days and see what the universe has to to say about it then now let's see what queen of the moon has to add the path okay you are on the path follow your intuition you are on the path you're on the right road Ooh, pleasure all right so you are in for pleasure you need to let yourself experience pleasure you know you need to let yourself enjoy life you need to let yourself enjoy this situation because it looks like you have trouble really accepting that you're worthy of a pleasurable existence. Now, please just take whatever resonates. You know, it, it's a general reading, so there's lots of messages here. 
Let's see what the spellcasting oracle has to say. Well-being. All right, so you are headed into well-being. You're headed into a wonderful relationship with a commitment. Look at that. Okay, yeah, no, this is beautiful. You know, you guys are going the way you want to. Um, you just need to follow your intuition. Like, just follow your intuition. That's, that's, that's the best advice I have for you. Now, let's see what the little starseed deck has to add. So... From the star seeds for the stars. Ooh, for the star seeds. This one too. And what else? That one. Okay. Let's see here. You start with observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. All right, so take some time, figure out what you want, observe the world around you, what your options are. Ascension, your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. All right, so you are ready for this wonderful change that you need to embrace. And finally, you get patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. So you are walking into this two of cups, this commitment, you know, just look at this. This is beautiful, but be patient. It's coming to you in its own timing. Now, since we're doing thinning of the veil messages, I've got this little mini tarot deck. And so we'll see what messages want to come through for the best benefit of group number five. Please keep the cards to a reasonable level. Okay, that's good. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see here. Ooh, you get the Three of Cups. Beautiful. And the Hierophant. All right, yeah, no, marriage. Okay, so the Hierophant's coming out saying, hey, this commitment is going to be marriage for some of you. You've got the Tower, so something ending. And you've got the Seven of Cups, so you need to wait for your beautiful soulmate match. Something is ending. This ending could be you being alone. You know, for some of you, this is a wonderful forecast of you stepping into a relationship that ends in marriage. So just take it as it resonates, but it's beautiful. You've got lots to celebrate, and um, the Three of Cups can even signify you know, a, uh, a baby for some of you. So possibly a marriage and then a baby afterwards. So just, you know, like I said, take what resonates, but this is a beautiful reading. All right. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me today. Thank you for choosing me as your tarot reader on Halloween. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number six with the rotocrosite. Your first message of the reading is to remember your worth. So please remember you are worthy of everything that you want, everything you desire. So just, you know, keep that in mind. You are worthy. Now, this reading will be a little bit different than my regular yes or no. We'll start with the yes or no. And after we get the yes or no answer from Tarot, then we'll open the floor to whatever um, messages for best benefit want to come through the veil since it's Halloween. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer yes or no for group number six. Okay. All right, you start with the two of coins and then the six of coins. So lots of you talking about money, five of cups, the star and judgment. Okay. You know what? I want one more card as the final answer because this is kind of on the fence. Um, If 
fine, I'll take two. Okay. So this looks like a no to whatever you ask Tarot. But many of you first off are wanting a no. And those of you that are not wanting a no, there is a second chance somewhere. Like you're being gifted something, there's a second chance. You need to take some time and figure out what you want emotionally. And that's gonna help you step out of a stuck energy. You also need to stop looking at what you've lost and look at what you still have. You were gifted something by the universe. So keep, you know, keep your thoughts on gratitude. Now that there's, there's a lot of cards here and that's a really specific message, but, um, but it is for whoever it's for, you know, that's very specific. There is, you know, when I asked for clarification, you got meditation and then you got definite stuck energy. So it does look like a no for most of you. Please take it however it resonates. You know, it is mostly, most of you, it's a no. The two of coins talks about figuring out where you're going to spend your money. But the fact is it implies that you have money to spend. You've also got this giving and receiving in the six of coins. So it does look like the universe has gifted you something that may in fact be financial. You may be stepping into this gift soon. There's going to be this feeling of some looking at what you've lost versus looking at what you still have. Don't ruminate in this. Just, you know, let it go. Accept the gift that the universe is trying to give you with the star. There's healing involved in it. You get a second chance at whatever, you know, whatever you feel like you've lost, you're getting a second chance. So just, you know, take some time, meditate, figure out what you want on an emotional level, and it's going to help you step out of this stuck energy, okay? Now, with that being said, let's open the floor to whatever wants to come through the veil. So for the best benefit of group number six, whatever messages want to come through the veil. All right, you're told to face your challenges. So this face your challenges cards also, it says as you're facing your challenges, you have got protection and support behind you. So just know that things are going to go, you know, things are going to go your way. This, you know, it, it's, it's a no to whatever you asked for most of you, but, uh, but it's a no with a lot of hope and a second chance. So just know as you face those challenges, whatever you're having to deal with, you've got support. Now from the spirit guides, you get don't relinquish your power. All right, yeah, don't give up your power. You be authentically you, okay? Accept this gift from the universe. You are worthy. Remember your worth, see? You know, I think a lot of you have worthy issues, uh, worthiness issues. So just remember your worth and accept this gift from the universe with gratitude. Now, let's see what Moonology has to add for group number six. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, so for those of you that worry about you and your loved ones on a financial level, on a material level, on an actual safety level, you guys are safe. The angels are protecting you. Everything is good. You know, as far as this reading goes specifically, you know, we're still protected by our protection and tension candle, which is right there at the very base, but not out yet. So we are all safe. You and your loved ones are safe. There's no worries. Now let's see what Queen of the Moon has to add for the best benefit of group number six. Resilience. All right. So you are resilient. You will stand up and face whatever challenge is put in front of you. So whatever obstacle, you're going to overcome it. Now, let's see what else. You have a hunger. All right, so many of you have a significant hunger for a second chance, and that second chance is coming through. So just, you know, step into it with beauty. You're, gonna, you're going to get to where you want to go. Now, let's see what the Spellcasting Oracle has to add. Animals. 
Well, you've got wolves coming out, most definitely. You've got animals. You know, Some of you can speak to animals. Take it as it resonates. Some of you might need to get a support animal. You know, just whatever resonates with you. And then also you get justice. So balance coming out. This is, you know, wonderful balance and um, fairness. You are being gifted something by the universe and it's absolutely fair that you accept it and that you feel worthy of it. And anybody who makes you feel like you're unworthy is probably not helping you along your path. So just take what resonates. Now, oof, okay, that's, oh, that's four, okay. Let's see what the Starseed deck has to add for you. You start with love. Live your truth and share the love that's in your soul. All right. Then you get vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to cosmic intelligence. Reflection. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. And finally, channel. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. All right. So that is beautiful. You know, you guys are trying to be, you know, it's trying to encourage you that you're strong enough, that you are these brilliant lights that can shine in the darkness because that's what you really are. And you should accept what the universe is trying to give you. Now, I have this little tiny tarot deck. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's, you know, going to deliver any additional messages through the thinning of the veil. So a reasonable amount of cards for the best benefit of group number six, please. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we start with the Two of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So the Two of Swords talks about you feeling like you're in a stalemate somewhere. The Eight of Wands is fast moving spirit guide messages and fast moving situations. So it's going to pass very quickly. Now, you also got the Five of Cups. That is the same Five of Cups you got up here. The Five of Cups is coming out a second time saying, please look at what you still have. Don't spend your time looking at what you've lost. You get the Six of Wands, so you are going to celebrate your victory. The King of Wands, people are going to follow you, and the King of Cups. Okay, so this is a lovely King energy. Like These are people that are going to support you and rally to you. You know, you did get a no to whatever you asked Tarot for the most of you. If it resonated as a yes, take it as a yes. But it, it's no for most of you. But this is going to be very fast moving. Whatever this Two of Swords is, whatever makes you feel stuck, it's going to be fast moving. This, this looking at what you've lost, you're going to celebrate your victory. So stop looking at what you've lost and look at what you still have and be grateful. You're stepping into a King of Wands, King of Cups energy. It can represent you or someone around you. But this is, you know, your creative passions just being at their peak. And this is, you know, a loving, generous energy that just, you know, shares their heart openly. So whether it's you sharing your heart openly with someone else or them sharing it with you, it's still a very beautiful energy. All right, that is all I have for group number six. Thank you for sharing your energy with me on Halloween. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.